Hey, what's up, you guys? Hope you're doing amazing this morning. Just wanted to share something really quickly with you about uh, trespasses. You know, one of the things the Lord's been doing in, in our fellowship is he's, he's kind of labeled this as a time of vulnerability. So I want to share some things that just a, a vulnerable uh, time with you that, that I've experienced in the last few months as God has been dealing with me on the place of trespasses. You know, I never really looked into it to the degree that he had me to start looking into it. So I didn't see how much that was affecting my life. And I didn't realize how much I was holding people's trespasses against them. And man, it was creating so much stress in my life, so much anxiety, things that I didn't even see, you know. And if you know the Lord and you've been with him for a minute, you you learn that this is a process and uh, easily people can judge you and say, oh, you've had stress and anxiety. It's like, listen, this is just another layer that the Lord is removing. So uh, go through your process, man. Enjoy your process. But allow the Lord to really get to the heart of what everything that's going on inside of you. And for me, one of those things was trespasses. So that's broken expectations that we have towards people. There's an expectation in every culture and every society that we have of people. And uh, depending on the culture and society you're in, uh, those rules, those expectations can change. But nonetheless... Uh, when people uh, violate those expectations. So I come from a culture where obviously that I'm a, a, I follow Jesus. So when people uh, break what I think should be the cultural norm, and I, uh, I believe is the cultural norm, then that can become a trespass, whether they be Christians or not. And the Lord began to just really share with me how um, I was holding people's trespasses against them. And man, it was creating so much stress in my life, so much anxiety that I was just truly unaware of. But then he began to help me to really, really see uh, where I was doing that. And as I began to learn how to just forgive men their trespasses, you know, that, that prayer, man, forgive them their trespasses as we for, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So, beloved, I just wanted to share that with you, man. I want to pray with you today that if there's been places in your life where you're holding trespasses against people and you didn't even realize it like me, you just didn't even know that God begins to share with you those places as you begin to release people. Because remember, Jesus said, if you don't forgive others, then you won't be forgiven. And what that means is that we lose access to some of the things that God wants us to have because we're actually holding grudges. We're holding offenses towards people that we shouldn't hold. So be blessed, man. Hope this is good. Hey, leave a comment. Let me know, man. Let me know. Talk to me about it uh, if this is something that was helpful. Be blessed.